Welcome to this tutorial session. This is for the Pearson simulation games for project management or logistics management, depending on your course. I'm going to show you how to do the project management simulation. This method will get you at least 89%. It might get you higher. It might get you a little lower. The lowest I've seen is 84. The highest I've seen is 92. And these are with people doing the exact same steps I'm about to show you. So there's some like leeway there's some wiggle room there i'm not sure how that works but i'm going to show you how the basics of the game work now we're going to click on the simulation and we're going to get started i'm sorry we're going to click on the simulation and we're going to get started here it's going to open up this window let's go to full screen and you're going to see a few things in this game that i'm going to walk you through that you can actually just ignore now that's taken it's 10 years to open up we can actually get started Starting at the top here, you're going to see three icons, an email, chat, and phone. Phone is where you're going to talk to your clients, Maggie Applebaum and Robert Applebaum. The chat is where you're going to talk to your contractors. So these people here are who you're going to be working with. And email is pretty much how you talk to the bank. The best part about this game is you can actually ignore all of these people. You don't have to, you don't have to pay attention to anything they say because they actually have no bearing on the on the outcome of the game. Now, the only thing I would say is at the very start, just check your tasks from these people. So tasks K, E, R, and M from Stone's Throw Masonry, Old Town, Step Farm, and Sparky's. What you're doing here, we're going to go to step K just to show you. What you're doing here is just to see who are these people. So it's the middle guy. We're going to go with the middle guy for basically all of these step was it k r m and something else k r old town cabinetry yeah it's the middle guy this game is coded in such a way where the contractors don't appear to have actual weight on the overall outcome of the game it might impact the the homeowner morale which is here at the bottom but as long as you stay neutral you're good you don't really need to aim for the super positive it might get you that extra missing percentage that i'm having on my grade but I'm not going to die over 11%. I just don't care. Let's get started and let's start clicking on each task. We're going to pick the middle guy for almost all critical tasks except for one. So A, B, and at the bottom here, let's come back. You're going to see select these expedite options. If you pay $1,200, you can get two days back. $1,100, you get two days back. Do not pick these yet. And I'll go through this as we do the game. As you can see, I'm doing this video in real time. So don't skip ahead or else you're going to miss some critical information. So don't pick any of these for now. Just pick the middle guy as you keep going. So for D, we're going to pick the middle guy. Now for E, E is a hypercritical step as it leads into literally the rest of the project. The whole thing, L is an inspection day. That's why it's not super critical, but E is absolutely critical. As a result, we're going to pick D here. E is so critical that we are actually going to pick ASAP farming. We want the lowest number of days and to go from 25 to 14 is absolutely worth the extra money. So we're going to lower that as much as possible. Now we see our next critical step is in J. We're going to pick our second guy here, F, second guy here. Now H and I, they're not critical steps as we can see. So screw it. We're going to pick the first guy. Cheapest option is the best option. Let's go to K, pick the second guy. G, pick the second guy. Now N, we're gonna pick the second guy. P, second guy. R, second guy. And S will also be the second guy. T, you guessed it, second guy. And W is the second guy. Okay, we got all these. Let's pick the first option for the rest of these just to get them out of the way. So once we do this, we can evaluate where we are pre-plan status or pre-execution status. So we can see here, we are five days ahead of schedule, which is perfect. We, our bank wanted us to come in at around 18,000 in profit. We're sitting at 24,000 in profit. So we're doing good there. Uh, Q, we have to pick the first guy. So we, you can see here, we are doing just fine in terms of our profit margin. We're way ahead of schedule. Well, we're slightly ahead of schedule and we are way above our profit margin. Perfect. That's exactly where we want it to be. So you have to, you have to come in at 10%. So less than the budget. So less than 62, 162. Perfect. 
let's hit the start simulation and let's get going. Like I said, when you start the simulation, you can absolutely ignore all of the people who are messaging you and calling you and emailing you. As long as you are above the profit margin, as long as you are ahead of schedule, no one is going to have any information that you have to care about. If a contractor is delayed, guess what? You can't do anything about that. We can see here, we got a message. I just finished my inspection. Not too bad. The water pressure, who cares? We got our thing here from subcontractor B. We're going to fill the sinkhole. Guess what? You can't do anything with this. There's no two-way communication. It's just notes coming in. Meaning if you can't do anything about them, you don't have to care about them. So let's press on and let's go from set D to E. And it's just going to keep counting down the days at the top here. We have 105. Don't mind this in the bottom. And we can see we're still one day ahead of schedule. Now, this is where things are going to start to get a little bit more interactive on your guys' part. I just want this part D to go through. There we go. Part D is done. We're still one day ahead of schedule. You always want to be ahead of schedule. Now, we're zero days ahead of schedule. Now, one thing you see here, we can pay $1,000 to get two days back, $4,000 to get three days back. When you do this ahead of time in the pre-planning phase, you only get those amount of days back in the critical steps, two or three. But if you do this during the actual simulation while it's running, you might get more days. So it says here, we'll get two days for a thousand bucks. Okay, let's do that. But look, we actually got five days back. While you pay for these extras while the simulation is going, because you might end up with bonus days. Don't ever pay for the stuff ahead of time. And we can see our homeowner morale is neutral. This this hooker here is never happy. Him or his him or his awful, awful wife. They're never happy. You don't have to care about them, especially. Just like most clients in life, they're basically trash. Let's press on to step E and let's get going. I don't know why step I became critical at this stage in the game, but it's not like it really matters. Uh, most of this stuff is pretty, pretty basic. So let's see here. Two days ahead of schedule. We're still sitting fine. Okay, let's resume. If we have to, oh, we're three days ahead of schedule now. Perfect, Jay finished early. Okay, we're zero days behind schedule. And who's holding us up? This one is 624, let's pay for that. Always pick the cheapest options, of course. Never never pay for extras that you don't need. And let's see, what's K here? K is 486, let's pay for that. We're still below 162, which is perfect. We're still well ahead of we're still well ahead of our finances. And this is going to keep going. L's gone. Good news. Electrical box obstructed. Uh, I can't do anything about that. So no no one cares. I can almost guarantee you if we click on this phone to talk to our client, they're going to be mad about something and it's going to be something very stupid. So just don't even bother. 4 days behind schedule. That is not okay. We need to get that going right away. I don't want to pay the 1200 though. We might just eat the cost and wait for part P. And part P, we can pay 1200 That would keep us still below. And that might be, that might be the play. That might be the play. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pay for that. We're still two days behind, which, which is fine. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll wait for step R. Wait for step R. We'll see where we're at. If we have to, we'll pay for extras. Can we? You only at this stage, you don't want to pay a large amounts. You want to only pay a few hundred bucks, unless it's something like this. Now I could do this, and this will absolutely eat into my profit margin a little bit. But at the same time, though, I'll get six days back, meaning I won't come in under schedule or over schedule. So do we want to pay the six days? But see, if you look here, I'm clicking it and it's not changing the days. If you notice in the critical path, the days change in real time, meaning this would actually be a waste of money. Now let's come back here and ah, there we go. There we go. 1800 bucks gets us four days ahead of schedule and it puts us pretty, pretty back in the profit margin region, pretty far back but we might have to do it just so that we stay ahead of a schedule. We're just going to roll with it and see how that, see how that plays out. We got 45 days until our deadline, 44. We're still two days ahead of schedule, which is perfectly okay. 
it's getting near to the end of the project. Once we get through these two Q and R hurdles, it goes pretty fast. And like I said, you're wanting to always maintain ahead of schedule. You got your profit margin meter at the bottom here. Ideally, you want the 18,000. The bank is probably super pissed at us right now. I'm very concerned your financial situation is a mess. Yeah, it's not a mess. It, we're literally 3,000 under, under the target range and we're still in the green. The bank is just overly dramatic like a high school date. It's fine. Let's wait for S to finish. And we're heading into the home stretch. We're four or five days ahead of schedule now. That's perfect. We don't have to pay for anything extra. We are going to come into this thing pretty much okay. Now, U is the last, U leads into the last critical step, which is W. And once W is done, we will have our final result. We're six days ahead of schedule. I don't know if I could have not paid for those six days and kept the profit margin, but it was a risk I was willing to take because I didn't want to come in way over schedule. So you get this final readout here. I don't know if your profs are going to want you to do this stuff. Or, of course, the homeowner morale is neutral. These people are just the absolute worst. But we're going to say we are done here. We're going to say we're done. And now we're just going to refresh my grade. And let's see, did I get a better grade? 92%. There you go. I went from 89 to 92 so this proves that it works. I literally just got a higher grade in this video. Hope this helped you guys. If you like this video, if you want more, please do hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I've been Arif. This has been the project management simulation game from Pearson, and I'll see all of you on the next simulation.